It is Thursday, August 25th, 2016, and welcome to this episode of Code Evolution. Today, I really wanted to help people and trying to figure out some of these issues that I've been running into in toying around with Angular 2. So I thought I'd do a series of quick tips to help people get over some of these bumps uh, when they start to consume Angular 2, especially if you're coming from Angular 1. So the first thing is uh, we're going to talk about observables and RxJS. So a very, very common thing you're going to see in Angular 2, especially if you're doing any kind of uh, HTTP service, you're going to be using observables. Now, observables are analogous to promises, but basically better. So if you um, are not familiar with observables, but you are familiar with promises, that's great. If you're not familiar with either, it's definitely a good idea to go look up RxJS and do some research and study uh, and understanding how observables work. But in general, they're just another flavor of um, an object that will stream data to you as it's coming in. So just like as a promise will resolve, an observable will um, give you the next in a series, uh, if there is uh, a next in a series. So covering this topic, what I found was when I first started using observables, I got very frustrated because in the case of Angular 2, for example, uh, it would blow up. It would say, oh, well, you're trying to use this function, but it doesn't exist, even though TypeScript would not give me any grief. For example, if I take and get rid of this map import, it's not going to give me any compiler grief because of how the declarations are set up. Now, well, the way that I've resolved a lot of this is simply said, okay, I figured out after a while, and this is very cool. This is very cool of RxJS. It's like smartly stupid. How do we, you know, probably the, the right way to explain it is the observable class is, is dumb in, by itself. It's just simple. It doesn't have any overly magical behavior. And that way, if you need a specific function, you can then import that function via an extension. And so this is how you do that. So you would normally import your observable if you were going to use it. So in this case, like for example, I'm creating this sample data that I'm pulling from a, JS uh, from a JSON file. And you know, I thought I'd play around with getting some different functions. I'm not even really 100% sure what cache does. But I do know that map is going to convert the response object into JSON in this case. And then by calling concat map, it's going to break up each one of the items in the array that comes back from this JSON and therefore enumerate uh, one by one in the observable. So instead of getting a number, array, uh, an array of numbers, which what this is what this is getting back, um, it's actually converting it into individual numbers, which is what I want from this data. Now, once I had this all set up, I was like, yay, it's going to work. And then it failed because not, I didn't have any of these extensions in place. They were, it was just like this. And then I realized that, oh, you have to go and go to RxJS and add these different extensions. If you go and look at these, this code, uh, the actual source code, you'll see that they're just prototype overrides that are adding these functionality to observable, effectively extending it, which is you know, a very, very cool implementation. So that's pretty much it. It's just wanted to cover this quick tip about observables. If you're going to be using them, just remember that you need to include the extensions that you want to use. Of course, you could go and include them in one giant include file that injects them all as an extension onto observable. I highly recommend not doing that. Uh, you should probably just include the ones you need for each file. Therefore, if for whatever component you use needs that or doesn't need it, you don't load extensions that you don't need. So that's that. Um, if you guys like this kind of content, please give me a like and a subscribe. Uh, I'm going to try to do some more quick tip videos as I run into issues that I think are kind of, um, you know, that slow people down and, and I, you know, it's kind of want to accelerate people past these little bumps. So thanks again and have a nice day.